so it's clear to see that the electric cars are improving constantly in terms of mileage, performance and charging times. The EVs of today is about a million times better than the EVs of the early 2000s, but there is still a lot of room for improvement. You see, most EVs and hybrids rely on electric motors powered by lithium-ion batteries, using the same technology that powers our smartphones and laptops. But have you ever seen an electric car burst into flames? If you have, you know that it's a scary sight and one of the worst fires to extinguish. The explosion happens due to their batteries as they use a liquid electrolyte. The liquid electrolytes are flammable and chances are high for an explosion. Now why do we use lithium ion batteries at the moment? While well, the benefits of lithium ion batteries include longer battery life, better performance in varying temperatures although they still perform worse in cold or hot conditions, they also feature recyclable components and higher energy density. Over all the battery technologies like lead acid batteries or nickel metal hydrate batteries. But as we know, lithium ion batteries also have a whole bunch of drawbacks. The liquid inside make lithium ion batteries quite heavy. They also perform better when in stackable packs, which adds even more weight. Additionally, as said before, the electrolytes are flammable and can be unstable in extreme temperatures, which might lead to explosions or fires if damaged or improperly charged. So on to the new craze in battery technology, solid state batteries. Now what is a solid state battery and how does it work? Well, it's in the name. Solid state batteries use solid electrodes and solid electrolytes. In solid state batteries, the flammable liquid is replaced by a number of everyday materials like ceramic and glass. Solid state batteries consist of a cathode and an anode that are separated by an electrolyte medium that allows the charged ions to travel through them. Now lithium cobalt oxide is used as the cathode and a lithium metal layer as the anode. Now solid state batteries have been used in small devices like pacemakers and wearable devices for years. These batteries can charge quickly has high energy density and the batteries are inflammable and last longer than traditional batteries. Now there is more to the solid state battery than just the safety. You see solid state batteries are smaller in size and lighter in weight, which is great from both a performance and a range standpoint. On top of that, these batteries are also 2.5 times more energy dense in comparison to lithium ion batteries. They also perform better under higher and lower temperatures, which is one of the biggest issues with the batteries of today. So if they are so great, why aren't we using them? Well, as with everything, there are some disadvantages. It has been proven that it is very difficult to make solid state batteries work. In fact, they are great in theory, but in practice, at the moment, large scale production and use is impossible. The production of these batteries are really expensive and there is a lot of work to be done to make them ready for mass market use. Plus, they still need to find the right atomic and chemical composition for a solid state electrolyte that has the right ionic conductivity to deliver enough power for an EV motor. You see companies are struggling to design a solid electrolyte that is chemically inert, conducts ions well between electrodes and won't crack from expansion and contraction during use. That's why the advantages of solid state batteries is prefixed with a could as they've yet to prove themselves in the real world. Now many big manufacturers have invested millions into the technology but most say that the tech is at least 10 years away, which is a problem. You see, it is predicted that we will run into lithium shortages by 2025 and solid state batteries could require up to 35% more lithium than the current lithium ion technology. So we might run out or be at a point where it's too expensive before we even get to the point where the technology works. Now, it is no secret that I personally believe in hydrogen instead of battery technology in the long run, but let me know what you think. Do you think there's any future in solid state batteries? Um, I think it might be a possible thing that could work, but I don't know if it will work in a mass market in like terms of EV cars where we've got millions of cars and there's just not enough lithium to produce all of these vehicles. But let me know what you think. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you did like it, you'll like all of my other stuff. So just get through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.